Hi guys, it's Monica. I have not done a wig review in a long time. I think the last time I did a wig review was, was um, well, maybe when I was with Marlene um, in Florida, but I'm not sure. I, it's been a long, long time, but anyway, so I recorded this video for Week Studio One for their channel because they sent this to me complimentary in exchange for a review. And I guess with YouTube's new guidelines, I'm going to have to select uh, sponsored, even though it's not sponsored, right? But this is a free wig. So, and I'm not trying to pitch it. I'm just sharing it with you because I think some of you, um, suffer with hair issues like me and um, it's always good to see what a style looks like and a color looks like on somebody else. So this is Maison, Maison or Mason and this is Heat Friendly Fibers and this is in Sunkissed Almond R. Sunkissed Almond Almond R. Dark brown, um, light brown, a golden blonde mix and a cooler blonde mix. But this is part of the new Beltress Luxe Collection. And the Luxe Collection is a collection of heat-friendly fibers and they are hand-tied. The caps are exquisite. So you have a beautiful temple-to-temple -temple lace front. It's, it's impeccable, it really is. And then you have a little bit of silicone by the ear tabs and you have a fully hand-tied cap a nice full monofilament so you can part this any way you like. You can heat style it so if you don't like all these curls that I've got going on, you can remove them if you want. I'm going to share part of the video that I did for them so you can see my, you know, full review on it or a partial review on it if you're interested. But again, this is a brand new style from Beltress and Beltress has been knocking it out of the park lately with their their lace fronts. Um, just really, really nice. So I'm sharing this with you guys. Gosh, you know, when I filmed this for um, Wig Studio One, I was I was a little rusty. You know, I don't script myself and I really, I really probably should. But um, I just kind of talk, you know, from the heart, from my memory or whatever. And I, I felt a little rusty because it had been so long. But I wanted to show you anyways. And I just think the fibers are really nice. It's it's a longer style for me. Um, and again, these are the barrel curls. You can make them looser. You can put them into beachy waves. You can do, you can change the parting direction um, or side, I should say on this super easy. I'm not going to do anything to it yet. Anytime I have a piece, I want to play with it and feel it and really let it grow on me, <laughs> so to speak, before I start changing it. So I'm going to share a little bit of the clip I did for Week Studio One, who did send this to me complimentary, although they're not sponsoring me. They're not paying any, me anything to do this, but I did get a beautiful wig for free. And um, let me show you some outside clips and um, in a little bit of the cap so you can see it. If you're, you're curious about something like this, reach out to them. I'll put the link below. And yeah, you know, I'm gonna tell you this. When Jay and I were away, we did our, our snowboarding routine this year for the first time. And I had last gone to my hairdresser in December. And um, I knew I was gonna be months without having anyone touch my hair. I did go get a hair cut because my hair was just so horribly outgrown, but I did go get a hair cut while I was gone. But most of the time I wore toppers, I wore a few wigs. I didn't have this with me. I wish I did. I would have, I would have worn this. Um, I had some toppers, a few wigs, and then I just, my hair, uh, it, it is like gray. <laughs> So whenever I just wore my hair hair without any topper or without any wig or whatever, I ended up using the uh, L'Oreal Root Spray and it's made for gray cover up and I would just kind of give me a tinge of a little bit blonde in it. It didn't really work that well as far as giving me a tinge of blonde, but it did cover up some of the gray. But other than that, I just went natural. Ball cap, hats, a topper, a wig, um... I didn't have anything done, so when I came home and I was looking at, you know, in my house with my mirrors and my lights and all that, I'm like going, 
holy mackerel my hair is gray and it kind of my hair kind of it said I said to my sister you should see my hair it's like dad's hair was you know and I remember when my dad's hair started to go gray like that it was like all gray and then it had a little bit of blend of silver a little bit of blend of uh, it was multicolored while it was gray and that's what my hair looks like. I hate it. I hate it on me. I loved it on him. I hate it on me. I'm not ready to go gray. But, um, yeah, it was. it's an interesting experiment. So I'm going to go to my hairdresser next Saturday. I, whatever day it is, the 4th, 5th. I don't know what next Saturday is now. Um, but May, the first Saturday in May, I'm going to go to my hairdresser that afternoon. And she's going to freak out when she sees all the gray. I don't know what I'm going to have done. I really don't. But anyways, just sharing you my latest wig. Let me know what you think. Do you like this on me? What do you think of the color? I'd be really curious. And uh, hey, if you're in between that stage of going gray, think about getting that L'Oreal Root Spray. It kind of does cover to some degree. It isn't going to cover the whole head, you know, like you're, you know, dyeing your hair or anything. But it can make it so that you can get by a little bit longer <laughs> so anyways thanks so much for watching guys i hope you enjoy the wig review please leave me a comment like the video i would truly appreciate your support bye guys Hi. this is beautiful this is heat friendly fibers this is the packing it's just gorgeous and what i was super impressed with the way this came i'm going to take this out and show you because this style has something called like some barrel curls. Sorry. It came with like protecting the barrel curls. I just thought that was the, the cutest, the cutest thing. This is absolutely oh my gosh. This is gorgeous. Take a look at these fibers. Uh, Sunkissed almond R, which is four. 27 613 plus 8. So there are a lot of different blends of fibers in here. It's a combination of medium and light brown. Absolutely agree with that. Uh, and highlighted with a light gold blonde. Yeah, for me, this pulls warm. And a hint of cooler blonde. It is rooted with a medium and light brown. So you have a ton of different colors here, or shades, I should say. So this particular piece, part of the Lux collection, I'm going to show you the inside first. I mean, this is a full mono right here. Absolutely beautiful. Temple to temple lace front. Silicone around the ear tabs. The lace front, I think, with Beltras has just been absolutely beautiful. Hand tied, got plenty of room here if you want to cinch it in. Luxurious, heat friendly fibers, and gorgeous, gorgeous lace front, without a doubt. Beltras has beautiful, beautiful lace fronts, super comfortable. Nice. It's a full monofilament cap. And again, this is, I think, a Mason or Mason, Mason. And this is from Beltras, part of the Lux collection. I, I think this is so cute. I love the barrel curls. I, you could comb them out and then just have more of a beachy wave. I like the combination of it. I love the length. I think this length is absolutely perfect. And surprisingly, when I first looked at this in the box, I thought the fibers looked really dark. But surprisingly, I think the fibers are really, I think the color is really nice. And let me just give you a close-up view of that lace front. Again, temple to temple lace front. Hand tied, plenty, you've got a full mono filament here. That means that you can change the parting style if you want. Now, now this is part of that brand new Lux collection from Beltras, and it comes in 12 new colors. So if this one isn't for you, head on over to Wig Studio One. I'll make sure I link all that information. Head on over and um, you'll probably find another color. But I think the really cool thing is 
when they come out with new colors, right? Being able to see them on someone. So I'm inside my, my filming area and I do have a light so that I am lit, but I'm gonna take my camera outside and I'm gonna show you right now what this looks like in the natural light. It's a bright sunny day in April and everything is still kind of brown outside. There's not a whole bunch of green trees or any flowers or anything like that because it is April. But take a look at the colors. I think these colors are absolutely beautiful. And look how they flow. There's not any wind. So I'm just gonna shake my head so you can see it that way. Absolutely gorgeous, absolutely. This is really a pretty, pretty piece. Low density. I'm not feeling any at all permatease, and I think with a hand-tied full cap like this, it's really difficult to do any kind of permatease, and it doesn't need it. You know, if I want to, I could take some of this and just build it up. I could also pin this up. I could wear this in an updo, and that I think would be really cool. So I am really liking this color, and the fibers are just, what can I say, perfect. The vibe is perfect. It's awesome. So thank you so much to Wig Studio One for giving me the opportunity to share this look with you. And I hope you like it. And if you do, check out all the different colors. It's really amazing. Beltress, I think, knocked it out of the park with this Lux collection. And if you're worried about the pricing, always check out the website, Wig Studio One. Check out their open box or the clearance section. You never know, people return something because it's not for them. Um, and there's always sales. I think last time I looked, there was, it was like 30% off or something like this. So there's always sales going on. So check that out and don't let the price deter you because I think once you have one of these, you know, hand tied, full cap like this, lovely mono filament so you can part it anywhere and just the exquisite, yeah, that's what I'm gonna say, exquisite lace front, perfection. So realistic, so realistic. I love it. I hope you do too. Bye-bye.